I'm Terry Wong. I'm currently working as a vicar at St Andrew's Cathedral. My first encounter with Alpha was when I was serving in St. John St. Margaret's Church. We were actually a church with many cell groups and we were trying to evangelise. We were trying this tool and trying that tool and we were actually de developing our own tool. It's in that context that uh, while we are researching, that we came across the Alpha course and that Nikki Gumbel and Sandy Miller is coming to town to hold the first Alpha conference in Singapore. Truth be told, initially I wasn't very enthusiastic because I thought that we should do something that's local. But my vicar then insists that we should send a team, so we sent a pretty strong team. So it was two days conference, and it was held in the cathedral, in the nave, not the best place to host a conference. I was sitting at the back, and Nick Nikki's head was bobbing up and down, and uh, I thought the conference was quite boring. And uh, because my mind was close to the idea of something uh, foreign. So we came back after the conference, we talked about what we have observed, and the vicar then asked, do you think we should or should not run the Alpha course? Uh, everyone said yes except me. <laughs> because I was saying, hey, you know, we can do something local. And we already embarked on it. Why do we want to franchise something? But I was obviously overruled. So maybe God is, was saying something. And so I said, okay, we'll start our first Alpha course. Let's do it quietly so that if it fails, no one will be disappointed and we move on to the next thing. We ran our first Alpha course. It was a huge turnout, far beyond what we dared to expect. The food ran out. We asked Christians to stop eating <laughs> so that the, our guests could come. And it was electrifying to see so many non Christians in our church. And that was significant because I think it was probably the first time that Alpha course was so successful in a local church. And that I think was uh, the first breakthrough. That started the journey. And from then, I got involved in Alpha Singapore. And I thank God for that because through our involvement, it really got us connected, got, certainly got me connected. So many brothers and sisters all around the world, certainly the lovely brothers and sisters in Holy Trinity, Brompton, and capture their sense of mission, their sense of vision, and global vision for the world. And uh, ministry has not been the same ever since. So, how can we reach people today? Our course was unique in that it got Christians and non-Christians to meet in a small group and to talk to the community in the church, to interact with non-Christians, not in one meeting, but over a series of meetings, 10 or more, you know, and friendships developed. The dynamics of the small group uh, is very, very special. And for Christians, it's very refreshing to spend uh, the kind of time to help someone find their journey, and their own faith is strengthened as they do that too, you see. To be with the person in the process itself is very enriching. And uh, almost everyone I've met who has gone through an Alpha course with a small group where, where there are enough non Christians. Memorable till today, I remember uh, the unbelievers, their questions, their struggle, and, and uh, how some of them come through. Okay. You know, as someone who said, the lost anointing is on, on it. I can't, there's one X factor. I think none of us can put the reason to it. Uh, the Lord has so chosen to use. Alpha for ways that are beyond what you dare to imagine. Alpha has helped us to be involved in prisons work. Before that, we have no idea how to get more in prisons. Alpha has helped us do that. Alpha has helped us connect with people in the marketplace. I've seen top businessmen and uh, politicians coming to faith. Alpha has really helped the church to move outside the boundary and to interact with people out there. Through the Alpha Course, I see the, the power of the church community. If you give them the right tool and trust them to, to serve, and trust new believers with, or unbelievers with them, uh, 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 you'll be surprised how God can use each one of them.